Around the world, Christian faithful turned out and mass to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ who came to redeem mankind. As expected, Nigerians were not left out of the Christmas celebration as different denominations across the country joined in to mark the birth of the Savior Jesus Christ. This Christmas celebration will be our focus on this episode of Special Report. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeffrey Uzonga. Christmas signifies the birth of Jesus Christ, a significant day in the life of Christians being the date a Savior was born. The Mass of Christ is a Christian holiday. Christmas is also a cultural day for many non-Christians. The birth of Jesus Christ observed primarily on December the 25th as a religious and cultural celebration among millions of people around the world. This day serves as a reminder of Christ's birth and enormous sacrifice for mankind, standing as a symbol of love, joy, peace, and humility, which are some of the societal virtues. As Christians all over the world celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, Nigeria's number two family, some members of the diplomatic corps, and other dignitaries worship at the Aso Villa Chapel, Abuja, for this year's Christmas service. The congregation is treated to traditional Christmas carols. In a sermon titled, Why the Angels Rejoiced, Vice President Professor Yemi Shibajo believes because God is with us as a nation, Nigerians, irrespective of different backgrounds, will prosper, experience peace, and will be blessed in everything that they do. Christ paid the price of sin in full. And when he paid the price of sin in full, every man who now says, I accept the sacrifice that Christ made, every woman who says, I accept the sacrifice. And I'd like to repeat what that sacrifice was. As I First, it was not just about dying on the cross. It was what happened on the cross. The reason why Christ came was, as we said, to pay the price for sin in full. And so on the cross, he was accused of every single, every single sin that man could possibly commit. After the service, Professor Shiba Joy explains that Nigeria is entering into a season of God's great blessing of peace and prosperity. On this very special occasion, I think we should all just receive the blessings of God. Every Nigerian should receive the great blessings that God has. And I believe very strongly that, that we're entering into a season of God's great blessings, of peace, of prosperity, and all will be well with our country. In the spirit of the season, Christmas faithful across the country were in the mood for celebration. Residents of the South are not left out as churches hold services to mark the day. Christians attend Power Park Christmas service in colorful attire at the headquarters of the Salvation Ministries Church in Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria's South South region. So David Ibiomi is the presiding pastor. He charges Christians to relish the festivities with a sense of responsibility and imbibe the spirit of kindness and humility to be in conformity with Christ. Love that does not share is not love. For God so loved the world. The son we are celebrating today. Is that true? He shared his own son with us. He came down. You too. Allow that to happen. Come down to people's level. The Almighty came down to our level. That is the King of all kings. Condescended low to our level. Born in a manger to show you high level of humility. 
So you to come down to people's level. Are you hearing me now? Don't keep yourself too high. Come down to the level of people. Relate with people and tell them I love you today. Allow people who cannot afford certain things in your life to have privilege to you. Is that clear? Go places and drop food for them. Say, I give you all of you to eat. And then God will say, yes, you are actually touching lives. Members of the First Family in Imo State join other Christian Faithful Ascent Rose Catholic Church in Omuma Community in Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. Governor Hopu Zodima used the occasion to appeal to criminal elements in the state to take advantage of the season to turn a new leaf, warning that the state would not cease to deal with criminals. I just want, as a way of little Christmas message, to use this opportunity to plead with our brothers and sisters out there. Those people who are terrorizing our villages. We took time. And why did that happen? We took time so that they can repent. So that they will see the evil in killing or taking anybody's life. But I'm telling them now that government is no longer joking. Anybody we see anywhere carrying gun without license and you are not a security officer, government will face you. There is no time for joke anymore. You can come from my village, you can come from my local government, you can come from the state or wherever. If you are one of the bandits and you don't want to repent, just run away because what is coming will crush you. Despite the recent security challenges faced in Imo State, indigenous troop out Indian numbers with their families and friends to celebrate the Christmas at different fun sports across Oweri, the Imo State capital. <laughs> The capital of the Sunshine State, Akure, is not left out of this year's celebration. Christians gathered at the Christ Apostolic Church in Okejebus District Headquarters, Akure, for a prayer pack service. Then a sermon titled, Significance of Christmas. First Epistle, chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, said, My children, if anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, he is the atonement, propitiation, sacrificial lamb, for our sins, and not only for us, and for the whole world. This also, they joined the Baptist wanted to, by the time Jesus was coming to him for baptism, said, look at the lamp of God that takes away the sins of the world. Third, to make us sons and daughters of God. That's another purpose. To make us sons and daughters of God. A slave does not know what his master has at home. That's why I'm no more slaves, but we are sons and daughters of God. Some of those present speak on the reason for the season. Continue to live in love and preach peace. Uh, considering what is happening in the country, it has not been easy for the past few years. But uh, we just have to depend. We just have to put all our hope in God and continue to preach the peace and love that Jesus Christ has brought to the world for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The, the Christmas is not, it's not just all day eating and drinking. Christmas is, we are celebrating this, the birth of Jesus Christ today. While we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, then we have to work with Jesus. It's not celebrating alone. We celebrate Jesus, yes. We eat, we drink, but in a moderate way. In a moderate way. We should not overstress our, ourselves. The governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodo, and his wife, Mrs. Bamidela Biodo, joined other Christian faithful at a special church service held at the Anglican Church in Beru. Governor Biodu believes that peace is important to daily survival despite the challenges faced by the nation. He preaches peace amongst Nigerians. This spirit, 
that we are celebrating today, the joys that we are sharing today, are joys that were brought to us by our Father giving us His Son to come and teach us, to come and lead us, to come and guide us, particularly at a time when the world was full of greed, was full of ignorance, was full of hatred. He was meant to be the Prince of Peace. He, was, he came to give us peace. He came to give us hope. He came to lead us back to God. And He came to take our sins away. And He began in earnest to preach peace, to preach hope. It is my earnest prayer that this year, despite all what we think, despite all what we've experienced, the joys of this season, the peace that we earnestly pray for, the hope that we are definitely looking forward to. God will grant unto us in Jesus' mighty name. In the peace setter state, however, Governor Shei Mackinder for your state preaches unity at Christmas. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. In his message, the governor of Cross River State, Professor Ben Ayade, called on Christians across the world to celebrate moderately while they reflect on the birth and virtues of Jesus Christ. Christmas Day in particular, which is a day for Christians, here you are having people who are Muslims from north coming to the south on the day of Christmas to fellowship and celebrate and honor us on our Christmas Day. I think this is the biggest message this country must take home, that this country can be united. We are one people, we are one nation. He urges Nigerians not to be dispirited by the myriads of challenges facing the country but to be steadfast and optimistic that Nigeria will overcome them and emerge even much stronger. This, of course, is the last celebration the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, will make in a state known as the home for all, as a governor. His tenure of office ends on March the 17, 2022. This, however, calls for separate celebration at the Christmas Mass organized in Gechi Auditorium in the country home of Governor Willie Obiano, the Auxiliary Bishop of Onitsha Diocese and other priests and dignitaries are in attendance.
celebration of Christmas is celebration of God's intervention in human history because human beings had fallen. No remedy. God intervened to save human beings. So celebration of Christmas, celebration of divine intervention to help human beings. So when things are difficult, that's the time we invoke, ask God to come to us. So this, this period is a good, very good period. We have faced many challenges in Nigeria and the world. And we're asking God, please intervene. And God intervenes always. It's not buying. First of all, it's the period for people to unite, to come together, to celebrate our humanity. So in this part of the world, people come home from different parts of Nigeria for this celebration, to stay together as a family, to express love to one another, to find a way to promote peace, love in the society, to find a way to move forward. Things are challenging. We have many challenges we face in our world today, but when we come together, we can fashion out a solution. So this is a good time for people to come together and celebrate. Celebrate our humanity, celebrate our coming to being human beings and working together as families uh, to reconcile those who have difficulties in their families, they're not living well together. This is a good occasion to come together, to forgive, to forget, to start again. So we thank the Lord for coming to, our, to our, breaking into our history. There will be many more Christmas for me. Governor Biana appreciates God for a peaceful state and says the people of Anambra have reasons to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, especially for the peace he granted during the last election. We're wishing in the Anambra, anywhere they are, a Merry Christmas and a Happy and Prosperous New Year. Uh, Christmas is a big feast. Without the feast of uh, Christmas, there wouldn't have been an Easter. So they go hand in hand. And without an Easter, of course, there won't be any Christmas. So Christmas is a very important uh, period and a big feast for the, for the Christians all over the world. Uh, more importantly, this year, Anambra, we had a very successful election uh, when people believe that uh, that election will not hold. Not only that it held, it produced one of the most peaceful, if you will, election ever conducted in Anambra. And of course, Africa won 19 over 21. You know, it would have been 21 over 21. But uh, we won 19 over 21, which is still uh, distinction. Regardless of the attacks and violence in the northern part of the country, Christians in the north lined up activities to mark this year's Christmas celebrations. In Kaduna State, just like some other states in the northern region have witnessed several ethno-religious crises that often results to the loss of life and property. The birth of Jesus Christ it reminds us that God is a God of peace. He has sent Jesus Christ, his son, the Prince of Peace, as recorded in Isaiah. And his birth signifies the reconciliation between a sinful man and holy God. And how we can reach God is through Jesus Christ. And in reaching Christ, Christ himself is peace. Therefore, my, my message to the nation, to Christians, to Muslims, and to all Nigerians, is that we must live in peace, in unity, and in concord, in agreement that we are one nation and we will build one nation, Nigeria. The message is if Christmas is about the Prince of Peace, we want peace in our nation, we want peace in our states, we want peace in our world, we want peace in our homes, we want peace in our relationships. We want peace everywhere. Therefore, I call on all people aggrieved that what we are doing, wasting human life, will never bring peace. The only thing that can bring peace, if we recognize the Prince of Peace and respect the Prince of Peace, he will bring his peace in Nigeria. 
Nigeria have not started democracy. What we are practicing for now is them all crazy. Why did I say them all crazy? The indices of what is democracy elsewhere in the world is not here. Election should be the backbone of democracy. But the people out there who claim they are representing us, are they actually representing us? How can you explain the flimsy reasons given for not signing the Electoral Act? I just pray that there will be a rethink and the right thing will be done. And for the first time, Nigerians will say there is a free, fair election. If this government cannot deliver anything to Nigerians, let them save their face and do only one thing. Deliver an electoral process that is seen to be credible, accepted worldwide. I think it is what a legacy that should be left behind. In the spirit of Christmas, this group of Muslims have attended a church service with their Christian counterparts as part of efforts to strengthen and foster unity and religious harmony in Kaduna State. The armed forces in Meiduguri joined the rest of the world to celebrate this year's Christmas at Memalari Cantonment in Meiduguri, the Baronu State Capital. <laughs> the St. Bartholomew Protestant Church is in a bubbly mood as worshippers file in to celebrate yet another Christmas in good health. This year's celebration is unique as it had in attendance the chief imam of Maimalari Barracks Central Mosque in solidarity with the Christian community. Spouses of soldiers at the front line observed the day in thanksgiving and prayers for the safe return of their partners. God has continued to be with us. God has continued to give us success. And we pray for success in our operation. Pray for our officers and soldiers so that we end this menace and then we'll have peace in the Northeast and peace in Nigeria. So we appreciate them. We appreciate the sacrifice they are doing. We're doing everything for possible. The Chivo Army staff is determined to ensure that we take care of their welfare so that we can achieve success, make sure that we restore peace, which is our mandate in the Northeast. We wish them the very best. God will continue to bless them. We appreciate them very well. Despite the fact my husband is not around, our husbands, I would say, I still give God the glory for celebrating this day, for seeing this day. And wherever they are, we ask that God Almighty should continue to be protecting them. We love them and we pray that God should continue to keep them from the hands of the evil and we wish ourselves many more celebrations. In Zamfara State, Christian faithful defied the threat by bandits as they celebrated the birth of Jesus amidst night security. The message centers on the need to imbibe the attitude of forgiveness, love and tolerance. Amidst singing and dancing, Christians in Yobe State join the celebration under a peaceful atmosphere. The messages in various churches of this year's Christmas celebration centers around the need for Christians to imbibe the attitude of forgiveness, love, peace, and tolerance. When taken seriously, citizens will come to realize that these are some ways that a country can overcome its current security challenges. And that's it on this episode of the program. Thanks for your time and, of course, your usual company. I'm Jeffrey. Was